you can control your movie clips actions and playback using action script that's not on its timeline this makes your movie clip more usable and in other combinations then you can decide for each instance of the movie clip what kind of controls you'd like to add to the timeline that hosts it and how it will work here are our starting and completed examples both contain the same assets they both have a play and stop button and they have a rotating uh, movie clip uh, the first one the buttons do not work and the second ones they are controlling the movie clip so let's see how we do this we'll close these and we'll open up the starting file and we'll save it with a practice name and I'll just call it practice okay first let's look at the library and so in here in the library we have a red rectangle movie clip and that is just basically a simple shape that's on the first frame at position 0 0 and then we have a red, red rectangle rotating clockwise movie clip and we'll open that one and that is a 120 frame motion tween and it's basically tweening the red rectangle then we have these two buttons that come from the flash common libraries the play button and the stop button that we'll use to control the movie clip so let's go take a look at scene one and scene one you'll notice we're only using one frame and the lower layer called rotation clockwise we'll select that and what it has on it is this instance of the red rectangle ro uh, rotating clockwise movie clip and we can see that up here in the properties we use the swap buttons and we actually see the whole name of what's selected Then we have a controls layer, and on the controls layer are our two buttons, and we'll select the first one, and they already have instance names ready for us to use in action script, and the stop button, and there's its instance name, and now we'll just run the movie, we'll do control test movie, and we can see that it runs uh, the buttons that do not have any actions or are not programmed yet. Now to control a movie clip's timeline from another timeline, in this case a scene one timeline will be controlling the uh, instance of the movie clip that does the rotations. To do that we need to give it an instance name. So up in the properties we'll give it an instance name and I'm going to call it rotating underscore MC. and you can have more than one instance of the same movie clip and if you're going to control the actions of each then you'll need unique names for their instances now we'll add the actions to the action script layer that we have on our main timeline and we'll do that by opening up a file that has in it the template code for buttons in action script 3 and here we have it and then we're going to select all this we don't need the first comment line and we'll copy it we'll go back to our practice movie and we'll select that first keyframe that's in the action script layer actually it's the only one right mouse click choose actions and make sure the script assist is in the off mode that means the button is up and then we'll just right mouse click and choose paste and I'll just readjust this so we can see it better Okay, our first step is to put the button names in where it says button instance in three places. So let's do that. The first place and we're gonna call our button is already named play underscore button and I will highlight that and copy it and put it in the other two places that we put it in. And one more. Now these samples of actions that you might use on a button include the three groups. The first one is controlling the timeline that the button's on and then we have the special one in here for opening up another web page and then the last group is controlling the movie clip that's on this timeline. They're the ones we want. We want this one here that has uh, dot play and dot stop. So 
we'll just delete all the other other lines that are inside of this movie uh, inside of the script I mean and just leave these two and what we do here is we replace this part of it with the name of the movie clips instance so let's take out the comment in the beginning and we'll highlight movie clip instance name and we'll be typing in rotating underscore MC now sometimes you forget what the name of your movie clip is there's this target button that's above the script window that's used for actually inserting the names of your object instances but I would recommend you don't do it just use it as a way to check it until you can be more comfortable as an action script programmer to know what they're actually doing so it's called rotating underscore MC so we can double check the spelling of the name let's duplicate this code we'll copy it and we're doing that for the stop button and so in three places we have to change the instance name of the button so it's stop button and we have three places I highlighted that quickly and copied it with the shortcut keys and pasting with the shortcut keys and then down here what we want is we don't want the play action for rotating underscore movie clip this is the instance we want the stop action so with a little highlighting here we can actually just take out everything we need and basically it's the name of the movie clip and you're asking it to stop the instance name of the movie clip and you're asking it to play and we can test this and we'll just do control test movie I'm using the shortcut key and we can hit the stop button and we hit the play button and we are now controlling the movie clip from the scene one timeline there's no actions in the actual movie clip let's take a quick moment to look back at scene one one of the things you'll notice is we don't have any animations on scene one so it simplifies it and that's a, a major advantage and of course this red uh, this rotational uh, movie clip that we have here could be used again in other ways and it doesn't need to have controlling buttons so it's completely free of the buttons they're separate and work uh, independently okay. so now we'll just uh, test the movie so we can see it running and uh, let's go select the actions and there you have it basically a good example of using action script to control a movie clips timeline from another timeline think of a movie clip as an autoplay timeline that another timeline can include or host and then using the instance name the other timeline can control its playback